Okay, so it's time to draw that roof. Let's just double click the roof default settings just to quickly have a glance at what the settings are. Okay, all right, so I won't discuss them um, now because they're, they've been um, prepared in the previous video. So to draw, we're going to the information box and choosing this drawing method, okay? This makes the most sense in this, uh, as this shape that we're about to draw, this t upside down T shape, uh, cannot be drawn with either of these drawing modes or geometry methods. Okay, so let's, let's also discuss that um, because these two ridge levels are meeting, then mathematically this length and this length and this length need to be the same. Okay, otherwise the shape of the roof won't allow these two ridge lines to meet. Okay, so when I draw, I'll start to draw from here to here. Okay, and I'd say the roof is going to be, I'm going to make it say six meters. Okay, so if I take it out to six meters here, is that too thick? Mm. Let's see. No, I think six meters. It's going to look a little exaggerated, but just looking at the shape, it's a bit difficult for me to really see because, of course, this um, Google map is not a true plan view. It's a plan perspective, okay, because I can see the sides of the buildings when in a true view, plan view, I wouldn't be able to, okay? So even if this is a little big, it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm going to go tab 6,000 and then enter, okay? And then I'm gonna come down to say here, okay? So I'm meeting it at the ridge line there, base of the ridge line where the valley, sorry, where the valley line is. And then I'm gonna to come to say three, 500 okay tab 3500 enter and then I'm going to come down here and make that oops skip uh, I'm going to make that say 6000 again enter okay and then I'm going to make this actually this is looking a bit big isn't it Okay, I'm going to make this 5,000 instead. I think in class we've made it 6,000, so I'm not sure. Let me just double check something. So I've just pressed escape. Take the measure tool and measure from here to here. Yeah, that looks, that looks right. Okay, so I just want to make sure that there's been no scaling, um, scaling changes, which I'm not already aware of, okay? So in terms of scale, if you refer back to the uh, Glebe Housing Project boundary lines or the survey, we know that one of the boundary lines, say the top boundary line is 20.095 metres. So I'm just going to quickly just measure from here to here. Okay, so it is 20. 095. Okay, so we haven't we haven't um, accidentally scaled things inappropriately. Okay, so let's see then. Okay, now the difficulty is, of course, revising because it's a plan perspective view. So we're going to. I'm just going to start it out here and see what six thousand looks like from here okay so it's a little bit better okay so we'll come down here to say actually just pressed escape to get back to my previous click okay so going to come out to say here press 6000 for here okay come over here all right, and then 6,000, tab 6,000. Come back over to here. Now, 
Now, what I want to do is close this. So what I'm going to do is move my cursor. Well, I'm going to want to close this so that the this point is aligned here. But actually, when I'm down here, I don't know where this point. I'd like I'd, what I'd really like is a, a vertical line that runs all the way down here, so I know exactly where to stop this click. Okay. The other thing I could do was really measure this line from here to here and draw the same line. Okay, but there is a quicker way. And that quicker way is to, um, when I'm here, hold the shift key down. Okay, so if you notice the shift key constrains parallel to the axis. Okay, closest to whatever, whether you're drawing in this direction. Okay, so I'm holding the shift key or whether I'm drawing in this direction, I'm holding the shift key and moving side to side. But of course it's constrained to the parallel to the y-axis here. And if I begin to draw along the x-axis, hold the shift key down, it's constrained parallel to the x-axis. So when it's parallel constrained like this, I can actually move my cursor up to here and snap here, okay, without having to actually measure up this line or to draw a construction line that I then have to delete. So I got to here and I then, when my cursor's up here, I press click and notice it's finished the line where it ought to go. And then my final click is to close the polygon shape. Okay, so if you notice what's happened now is that the shape has automatically generated for you. Okay, with the ridge line that's here and here at the same ridge. Okay, what you may notice though is at here and here and here they're all hipped roofs but these are gabled roofs as you can see from the image okay so we're going to have to attend to that in a moment but i'll just highlight the roof and press f5 just to show you what it looks like in 3d okay so here we go it looks like this roof ridge uh, sorry the roof a multiplane roof with the same ridge line here and here at the same level Okay, so what we're going to do is to attend to fixing the hip roofs into gable roofs on all three um, ends. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click on the um, node, okay, and then just look at this little button. It's got stretch horizontal ridge. So all you have to do is click on this button and then stretch it out so that it is snapped. See how my cursor's changed to a tick mark? Snap to here. Okay, and bingo. It's been changed from a hipped roof to a gable roof. Okay, so you need to do the same thing here. Okay, so zoom in a bit. Don't be afraid to zoom in. So click there and then uh, click from here to here. Okay, great. So this then is um, now a gable roof on all sides. So if I press F5, then you can see how that's changed. Okay, great. So in the next video, what we'll do is look at this roof.